We all know the expression, a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, for Feynman diagrams, a picture's worth a thousand calculations. And what's going on here? Well, here we have an electron, and it's going to collide with a positron. Positron is an anti-electron. They annihilate right here, turn into a photon, which gets this symbol. The photon moves forward in time, and then creates a positron and an electron coming out. How do I know that? I know that because this is how a Feynman diagram works. Space, that is the distance between them, is on the y-axis and then time is on the x-axis. So if we look at this at say t1, the two particles are here and they're separated by this much distance and then here sometime later say at t2 they're not separated by any distance which means they're annihilating. Um, when looking at Feynman diagrams, to see if this reaction can take place, you need to look at uh, the conservation laws. And at every time, every moment in time, the conservation laws need to hold. So, for example, charge conservation. Well, the total charge, you got a uh, plus charge here, and, oh sorry, that's the electron, a minus charge there. So, let me... Uh, got a minus charge here and a plus charge there so the total charge is zero and here at the interaction point same thing here it's a photon photon has charge of zero so the total charge is zero and then it recreates a positive here and a negative there so again total charge is zero so charge conservation holds true all along the way and you can apply that with all the conservation laws like lepton number etc. Um, great so that's how the Feynman diagrams work Let, let's take a look at another diagram here and that's this guy now in this case notice that they never touch that is even at their closest approach there and there there is still this distance separating them so they never come together. What's happening here is that the electron moves forward, releases a photon, and that photon scatters with another electron that's coming forward. And then they bounce apart. So basically what's happening is the two electrons approach each other, then they release a photon, and then they scatter away from each other. And this is called a scattering diagram, whereas the top diagram is called an annihilation diagram. And those are your two basic types of diagrams. Great. Well, that ought to give you a start on Feynman diagrams. And check out the following vodcasts for more um, examples of actually seeing if certain reactions can or cannot take place.